So you, um, you have this book coming out uh, in the spring called Missing Microbes, which I'm, I'm really looking forward to. And um, you, uh, part of what you talk about in the book is uh, the sort of paradoxical situation that we're in with antibiotics. I mean, here we have antibiotics, which are considered you know, one of the great discoveries of medicine. Um, and you know, they do save many lives, uh, and we've probably Many of us have taken them, if not all, I guess. Um, but you know, not only do they kill those bad bacteria, but they can kill the good ones too. So, what um, I mean, what's your understanding from your research about um, the effects of antibiotics on the microbiome? Yeah, yeah. So this is a big this is a big area that I work on, and uh, as you say, uh, many of us have used antibiotics. Recently, the CDC published some of the figures on antibiotic use in the United States, and in 2010, there were 258 million courses of antibiotics. That's, that's 833 courses per thousand population. And it's pretty stable. That's every year. And so almost all of us are getting antibiotics almost every year, year after year. And uh, so many of them are important and are life-saving, uh, but not all of them. And in fact, for common childhood problems like uh, ear infections and throat infections, the thinking is that most of them are not necessary. And if they were not necessary but didn't have any cost, then it was no problem. But we are learning more and more that there's cost associated with them. And that some of our work has shown that when we give antibiotics to mice, they gain weight, they become fat. And we're very interested in that. So just to break that down, <clears throat> if, if I take antibiotics for you know, some kind of infection, um, what you know, let, then let's say, okay, it wipes out that, that, let's say I've got Lyme disease. So it wipes out that Borrelia, gone. But what else is happening to me? Yeah. I mean, so, so I, by the way, I have no problem taking antibiotics for bona fide bacterial infections mm -hmm. like, like Lyme disease. But more commonly, uh, somebody has an ear infection or a sore throat, most of which are caused by viruses, uh, for so which, bacteria, totally which antibiotics right. are ineffective. And, and so not only isn't it, aren't you getting any real benefit from mm -hmm. it, but then there's the question, what's the collateral effect on all those other organisms? Are we sending some of the organisms to extinction? And, and we believe the answer is yes.